Yeah, so I've been with the Corps here in Galveston District since 2018. I uh, started off out at Attucks and Barker as a natural resource specialist and then came over to our navigation branch uh, back in October. So I've been, been working in our navigation business line since October. It's actually a year later this week. Here at Babes Beach, uh, we're partnering with the Texas General Land Office, the City of Galveston, and Babes Beach to bring the dredge material, so the, using the beneficial use of dredge material here onto Babes Beach. And so this is a smaller part project of a larger USAGE dredging project, but we're actually dredging the Galveston Entrance Channel and also the Houston Ship Channel uh, to provide a safe, reliable, uh, efficient, and um, environmentally sustainable waterborne transportation system for the movement of commerce, uh, national security needs, and recreation. And so this project, it allows us to use material that would otherwise go offshore. We get to come and place it right here on the beach uh, to provide for you know recreation for, for the residents and the visitors of Galveston Island, also for protection of the seawall and recreation. I would say my favorite part is, is really getting to work with our non-federal sponsors uh, and, and our community members. Uh, it really sheds light to what we get to do and the benefits that our projects uh, bring to not only the local communities but also to the nation. Uh, when you get to do projects like this, you get to see firsthand, get to walk, walk out. I mean, the beach we're standing on right now is dredge material from the Galveston Interest Channel and the Houston Ship Channel. Uh, and with the Houston Ship Channel being uh, the number one port in the nation, you really get to see the impacts of, of being able to keep that channel clear and getting industry coming in and out uh, and being able to provide that for the local businesses and, and some of the big you know um, national organizations that, that use that channel on a daily basis specific type of job uh, we use a specific type of equipment which is what they call a hopper dredge and so that hopper dredge is equipped with a trailing suction arm and so it will go to the section of the channel that needs to be dredged it has this uh, trailing suction arm kind of think of like a vacuum attached to it um, and it will go and it will make swaths across the channel suck that material up and when it sucks that material up it actually holds it within the ship itself within the hole so uh, the process starts as it, it fills up, it gets that dredge material, and then it, since it's a sailing vessel, it will actually sail to the pump out location, which is about two to three miles offshore. It then hooks up to pipe, um, the dredge pipeline that you see in the background, uh, and then takes that material, it refluidizes it with seawater, and actually pumps that material through the pipe onto the beach. And so once it gets onto the beach, uh, the contractor has earth moving equipment to be able to move that pipeline around to place the material in the locations that it needs to. Uh, and then they also have additional earth movement equipment that once that material is landed onto the beach, they can then use bulldozers or, or other such um, equipment to move that material around and make it to where it matches what the, the design was for and, and the plans and specifications. This is our third iteration of the beach nourishment project, the first being in 2015 when we placed somewhere around 600,000 cubic yards onto the beach. Uh, the next project was in 2019, we were around the 450,000 range, and right now the project is still ongoing, and we placed just a little over 420,000 cubic yards material onto the beach, and we've re-nourished about 1.75 miles.